Hi! Welcome back to my studio in Poulsbo, Washington. Today I'm going to be working on some encaustic paintings with plexiglass and trying to create some luminosity and transparency.
So since I want the pieces to be transparent, the under layers to be transparent on the plexiglass, the first thing I want to do is take this photocopy and since light it will pass through, but I want it to be even more transparent. So I'm going to apply some um, vegetable oil to the paper, and that will uh, make the paper transparent. Since I, whoops, since I didn't print on vellum, sometimes you can't get vellum this big. I printed these on 11 by 17 paper. Could blow up the image. And I really saturate the paper towel. You could also use a rag. But you just want to get the whole paper. It'll bleed through to the other side. So if it's easier, you can do the other side. Um, sometimes if it's really dark, it's hard to see um, when it's saturated. But that way, when I shine a light through the plexiglass, it'll show all the layers that I put on top of this one. Some people like baby oil for this, but I think baby oil has a funny smell, so I don't like it. Vegetable oil works just fine. Make sure the whole thing is transparent. I'm going to do that to this whole stack of papers so that they're translucent when I apply them to the plexiglass. And I usually let them dry before I apply them to the plexiglass because I don't want the oiliness to inhibit uh, the pages from sticking. So this is the first stage. And then I'll probably come back after they're dry hour or so. Um, if you really wanted them to not be oily, you can just wait longer. You could blot with a dry paper towel. But it really just has to just soak in and then all the oil, excess oil will dry. I don't have to do this side because it soaks through, but I will blot this side. Blot this side. And then I'll just put it somewhere to dry. So for this one, I'm going to slightly warm up the surface because I want to collage a piece on there. It is pretty cold in here. And it's just one of the oiled pieces. it. In the meantime, I can paint over this one. I've got something on the back and then the image on the front.
All right, next I take spray adhesive. Come on. There we go. Spray adhesive and spray my collage. that I'm going to attach to the plexiglass. So I'll put one on one side and another one's going to be on the back, one's going to be on the front. I love the spray adhesive because it doesn't, um, this plexiglass isn't really absorbent so any other type of liquid glue just really doesn't work. That's what it looks like on through the back. And then I'm going to put this guy on the front. I'm going to spray the back. down. There we go. Nice and smooth. And then I can do either more collage or I can or I can um, put some encaustic on it and start building up layers that way. And now when I have it on the light table you can see that the map can kind of see through that and the layers become way more transparent so having that vellum or faux vellum um, really makes it see-through and then whatever because the encaustic is um, is transparent whatever I layer up on top of this is going to show some of that through okay now I'm putting on the encaustic paint Texture is always so nice after you fuse. It sort of evens out. It'll get a little bit milky and then it'll, as it cools, it'll clear up. So I don't want to touch it because the plexiglass will actually kind of warp a little bit and then as it cools, it'll settle down. 